So today I wanted to uh, open up this package that my buddy sent me from high school, Bill Presson. Um, him and his daughter have a company and they um, sell different types of heads, uh, irrigation heads. So he thought this would be perfect for my farm and uh, appreciate you thinking about me, Bill. That's really rad, dude. So, let's see. Well, I guess, uh, so there are different GPMs that, uh, we did mention that. So, let's just open up the one GPM and, oh, this is a half. Half GPM. Try that one out. Let's see how this is. So here they are, pretty cool. There's three heads on there, and they just uh, go onto a hose like that. So I'll give these a try, and uh, I'll do another video with them hooked up. But I wanted to um, just uh, kind of show Bill, I appreciate the, the different things you sent me here and I'll definitely give them a shot these are pretty cool they look very well made very heavy so you can tell that they're definitely built to uh, withstand uh, a good amount of time like that I've got my lovely assistant Lux with me today hi Luxie oh A pretty girl and the ladies they always seem like they're hungry the guillotine door string broke so I have to replace that um, good thing one of the hens were in the way of that and it broke have all their heads attached got the good old tractor out here and I'm I pulled a tree out uh, it's a good probably 30 foot tree uh, or more and uh, it was in the way I, I pulled it I'd got another tree out when it was snowing and I also pulled the, the root was still sticking up after I had done that because it was so frozen so I had to pull that out since the ground was a little more, um, you know, thawed obviously. And uh, so it allowed me to take it out. So we want to get a carport in here and uh, at least the width of two cars. Uh, so I had to level this ground behind me to, uh, to do that. So this was the plan when I initially got in this on this property was to take those two trees out and work on this uh, side um, of the you know trailer to because we want to use this other door over here I want to build some steps and uh, make that happen because it'll be a lot more convenient uh, we're gonna gravel this and make it a lot more accessible um, the other way was just kind of a little scary um, during the snowy time of year to get out of the car. Uh, my wife had fell several times, so that's not cool. You know, I got it, the carport definitely is gonna help, obviously, but uh, you know, we don't, we want her to, you know, be safe. We want everybody to be safe. My son even fell a few times. Um, actually, I fell one too. too. <laughs> 
So all this was growth right here, overgrowth that had was just it was just so useless to have this here. So I cut into this area of these bushes, which the moose really love, but there's plenty more around here for them to eat and I know they'll be back. Um, in fact, they never even went into this area. They went more further back over here to the right. So I cut all this out. There was roots coming up from the ground. I had to cut that all out and uh, get my tractor in here. The uh, trees that were over here were right. There was one right here. And another that last one I pulled out was right here. Yeah, it took a while too. I'm, I'm pretty sore. <laughs> I had a. I thought it would just push over, but it didn't. It took a little manipulating to, uh, as far as getting getting it dug a lot deeper, and I had to cut the roots, and then finally that there was uh, just a little bit left that uh, was able to get pulled out with the tractor. So after I did that, I started just cutting a little bit more into this area to widen it and level it out. Just brought the bucket down a little bit and used it like a skid steer to level the ground. And it's already taking good shape. Um, so you just want to have access over here and uh, We'll have this place all squared up. Um, there's already enough room, obviously, for my truck, and even just a little bit more right here. So that worked out well. Pretty happy with the progress. These days it seems like I'm always mowing, but I had to get in front of this fence over here and uh, cut that down. Um, I think I have that little mower because it just fits perfectly in there to uh, bring that down. I even had to use a weed whacker to, you know, get some of that stuff down too. As far as the garden, everything is coming up so awesome. I'm so stoked right now. Um, you know, I, I haven't brought any um, compost or dirting yet. Um, I know like when I do change the beds over I'll certainly add some more amendments but you know the first time first go on this you're basically gonna be okay you know because you're, you have the nutrition already in there and uh, later on you just add more nutrition to the beds and that works out well. It's a big bumblebee in here. I think it eats some of the mods or some things, bugs that come in here and get trapped under the plastic. Anyway, so as you can see, look at this arugula coming in. Doesn't that look awesome? Again, that was done with the earth waste cedar and uh, Everything is coming in incredible. Um, then we're going over to this bed. You can see the red Russian kale is coming in. It's kind of it blends in with the soil because they're a lot darker leaf, but. We've got a good, let's see here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like nine rows. Then we'll move on over here to the radish slash kale bed. And as you can see, this is also coming in quite well. Kale. It's starting to break through here. That's the winter four. Got two rows of that coming in. There's some right there. 
so I think that'll this uh, be a really good addition and good bad for as far as uh, the co-planting um, inner planting a neighbor of mine just stopped by yesterday she um, her and her family just moved in next door and uh, I know we've been having a lot of crazy uh, craziness as far as move, people moving in um, but um, they've got a couple kids and they're excited that they have my son here so um, she came over she wanted to see everything and and uh, I let her taste some of the lettuce and she was she was like oh my god it's so amazing so um, she said that she already had bought in a CSA program before so Hopefully we'll get some more action on that. The lettuce is really, look at this, look how beautiful that is right there. So I can package that up pretty soon and get it off to some of my neighbors and try to uh, get them in on the program. This, uh, this, look at this one, isn't that beautiful? Love that. Out here, everything's looking really good. We've got some some more kale, and uh, some of the melon is starting to break through. Uh, no squash yet. Hoping to see some of that come up pretty soon here. I haven't seen anything popping out quite yet, so I'll keep you up to date on progress with that. So there's a quick update on everything and um, we'll get that, uh, I just got all these projects and I'm just slowly getting to uh, Wrangler Star actually just um, was talking about how he's overwhelmed with a lot of projects and it just, it was just kind of odd that he's pretty much in the same boat as myself and how we have to keep prioritizing and execute all these things properly and uh, just make sure we get these projects done um, it is quite overwhelming and you know the farm or the garden is definitely on the list but I still have to do all these other things uh, and get prepared for the winter that's gonna you know definitely cause some problems if we don't take care of these things and so, um, again, uh, I want to thank Bill for um, giving me these cool uh, sprayer heads and uh, his uh, company is called Digital Nomad Industries. So uh, they're out of Whittier, California where I uh, grew up and uh, so uh, I'll let you know how these things work out. We'll do another video with that. So. I uh, hope you guys like this video, the content, and uh, if you have any comments, please put them below, and please subscribe to the channel. I really can use the support. Alright, I'll talk to you guys soon. Hope you're all well.